If you're ready to do kitchen snitch and you don't have another tapestry needle, you can use a spare needle and do the same thing. Now, you're going to cut your yarn. One, two, three, plus plenty more for weaving in. Okay, just make sure you have a long yarn tail. Now, what you're going to want to do is be very familiar with kitchener stitch before you start because we are going to use the needle to do the traditional moves of kitchener stitch. Now, you're going to have to remember what they are. So, when we've set up for kitchener stitch, the first thing we do is we go in purlwise and we pull the yarn through. Now, the way to go purlwise without a tapestry needle is to knit it. You won't believe this, but that's what's, it's true. So we put our needle in here like as if to knit, and we're going to pull the yarn through. You can, you can knit the stitch American style, you can do it continental style, it doesn't matter. Okay, so knit the stitch, and then pull the yarn through, and see what happens? The yarn has come through as if to purl, right? So that is the first step. So coming back here, make sure the yarn is underneath. Normally, we, when we do our setup, we do purl, and then knit right here. So in order to knit, you're not going to believe this, we're going to purl. So, so bring your yarn through the middle and tension it. It can be American, it can be continental. And purl the stitch, and then pull the yarn through, like this, like that. And you can see that the yarn has been pulled through as if to knit. So I'm not even going to teach you a new way to do it. I'm just going to teach you a new way to accomplish the same Kitchener stitches, because otherwise you won't be able to remember. So now we do knit off purl. So how do we knit? We purl. Check this out. Ready? So we're going to have the yarn ready in front to purl. We purl the stitch and pull the yarn through. Whoops, pull all that yarn through. And then the stitch comes off and you can see that it's gone in knit wise, right? All right, and now to pull the yarn through purl wise, we knit. Like this, knit the yarn. Like that. Oops, sorry. And pull the yarn through and you can see that the yarn is coming through purl-wise. Okay, so we're basically using opposite movements. So now, purl off knit. So how do we purl off? We knit. We pull the yarn through, like that. Keep it underneath. Stitch comes off. Purl off knit. So how do we knit? We purl. You can see why you need to be really, really familiar with Kitchener Stitch before doing this. When you purl that and pull it through, there goes the yarn as if you've pulled it through with the tapestry needle knit-wise. Right? And you can see our bind off is starting to form here. There it is. Right? So we're just going to keep going. So we knit off purl. And to knit off, we purl. Purl the yarn. Pull it through, like that, stitch comes off, and then how do we knit off purl? We knit, and pull, oops, and pull the yarn through, okay? And here's our bind off starting to form, just like a normal Kitchener stitch. To purl off knit, we knit, pull through, purl, pull through. So that's purl off, knit, let's see, for me to purl I got to do the yarn in my left hand, and the yarn gets pulled through as if we're knitting, pretty crazy huh? That's why you have to be familiar with Kitchener because it's like the opposite of Kitchener, normal Kitchener. Alright, and here's our bind off starting to form, you can see the the stitches are coming through. Alright, so how do we knit off? We need to come through and do a knit off. We purl. Purl. Oops, I already took the stitch off. Pull the yarn through. We don't want to pull too tight. I probably could have cut my tail a little bit shorter. Okay, so we normally we knit off purl. So how do we knit off purl? We knit. So, in some senses this is easier with a tapestry needle, but you know, you don't need a tapestry needle. There's our bind off starting to form. Purl off knit means that we knit this next stitch and pull the yarn through. Stitch comes off. 
knit off. So purl off knit, so how do we knit? We purl. Oops, sorry, we need to leave that stitch on there. My bad. Alright, so we leave the stitch on, we pull it through. Okay, so there's the bind off starting to form. So we're just, you would just continue down along this just like normal. Every time you want to use the tapestry needle to knit, use your use your knitting needle to purl and vice versa. And then you're going to be able to do kitchener stitch just fine without any tapestry needle at all.